Hello everyone. This is my 14 video on sport diagnosis. Today you will learn about an another condition. This is a video of a 10 years old female child who came to our OPD with the complaint of abnormal body movements. In this video you can see child is having abnormal movements of the distal part of all four extremities. Also the abnormal movements of the face, tongue, lips are present. These movements are more during the activity and disappear during the sleep. In history part, we found that child also had the history of upper respiratory tract infection few months back. We sent the investigation according to our clinical diagnosis. So the clinical diagnosis of this child was Sydenham chorea. So we sent the ASO titer which was raised, significantly raised. And other part, other investigation to rule out the carditis and CBC, ESR, CRP all were within normal limits in this child. This is the video of an another child who also came with the same complaint of the abnormal body movements and also having the difficulty in walking. In this child, eco was also abnormal which is suggesting mild to moderate mitral regurgitation. Generally, Sydenham chorea is the isolated finding of the acute rheumatic fever. But in this child, child is also having the carditis, which is the another major criteria. This is the sequelae of carditis. So, child had two major criteria, Sydenham chorea and sequelae of carditis in the form of MR. So in brief about the Sydenham chorea, it is also known as St. Vitus dance. It is a delayed manifestation as child will develop the manifestation after 2 to 3 months of the streptococcal infection. It is often the sole manifestation of rheumatic fever. Involuntary movements as I have explained in the previous video. Child will also have the muscle weakness, hypotonia, disturbance of speech, gait, poor school performance. Milk made grape, spooning and pronation of extended hand and worm and movements of the tongue. Uh, details of all these tests for the chorea I have explained in the one of my video on motor system examination on abnormal movements. It is found in 15% patients of the rheumatic fever. It is a neuropsychiatric disorder because child will have the manifestation neurological and psychiatric both. It is often seen in prepubertal girls between 8 to 12 years age. Then in boys, neurological signs will be choric movement and hypotonia and psychiatric signs are emotional liability, hyperactivity, separation, anxiety, obsession, compulsion. These abnormal movements will be exaggerated by stress and tension and disappear in sleep. Really, it will lead to the permanent neurological sequelae and the child will have the chorea for 6 to 18 months. An elevated titer of the antineuronal antibody seen in 90% patients of the Sydenham chorea which suggests that dysfunction of basal ganglia is present. So this is about the Sydenham chorea. Thank you so much.